Hey there, everyone, this is Alcal playing WarioWare, and last time I asked the hard questions, and it's kind of funny, because I feel like I asked kind of a, an extremely sort of like binary question with basically two answers, but the popular answer is a third one that was not necessarily mentioned. So basically, what am I doing with a grid, you know? And some people were very clear with the hard no. They don't want all the minigame being toiled away at. And some people were like, no, no, yeah, let's just do it. One, uh, uh, let's go a month of grid play. Here we go, hardcore, let's go. But I wonder how this is gonna go. Her two play, like what does two player mean? Like, can I play a two player game on my own? Hop over the hurdles. Use rapid fire to get you through the tight spots. L. Jump R. Oh, so L and R. So I could play with both sides, which is kind of funny. But here's the thing, versus hurdle. Okay, I can try and do both. Yeah, here we go. Now they're all desynced, so it's gonna be terrible. Yeah, go through the mud. I guess I'm supposed to, like, press button to... Whoa, what? Oh, jeez. I cannot do that! <laughs> what part of me? But if people... Oh, next round, okay. Oh, right, there's multiple things. All right, got it. But, so, here's the thing. I feel like that the wisdom is in... So, okay, so let me kind of rephrase that. With the regular games, you know, it's fairly established now that I play, um... No, you lost and you won at the same time. Like, there's currently Mega Man games in between each, you know, major series. But with the newly installed, uh, Rao Kao just chooses whatever the hell he wants to play. I had thought that, you know, I would probably keep Mega Man going. But having its own little unique spin in between project does make some sense. And honestly, it does does feel like doing some grid play in between games makes a lot of sense. This is just hard because pressing a shoulder button for the purpose of jumping seems weird to me. That was a disaster. And you saw it. We did it. We versus the hurdle. Now we're gonna verse as a dong dong. Dong dong, two player madness. Make that yellow thing your opponent's responsibility. L, Mona, press bar. R, blue side, dribble, press bar. Pressing bars. Dong dong! This is it gonna be like press bar? What does that mean? Press bar. Oh, weird. Okay, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of fighting myself though here. It's not. Oh boy, this is, this is pure timing. No, nope, no. Let's see, but okay, no. Nope, but all right, no. Nope. Oh geez, dribble is absolutely winning though. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not for. This is kind of hard to time. Okay, yeah. Put that bread at the right place. Okay, see, so things are slowing down. Things are getting a little bit too crazy. Awesome, says Mona, but, you know, is it, though? This can last a while. This is kind of a weird... It's pure timing. So, and also, so... As, oh, Jesus, hell! Okay. Like, as intended, so two people would be kind of holding the GBA at the same time. So I could see it kind of being hard to like just even see what you're doing. There's something interesting about this. And uh, we get to hear Dribble just like growl, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I like when his dogness is like a bit more emphasized over his taxi driverness. And then just everything is like super slow. It's pretty good because ah, there you go. Then passes up again. But yeah. Um. So I I I agree. I feel with the majority that I think that going for like after I'm done with the mini games and playing what I have unlocked, 
con doing grids, basically doing a character's grid between each major game on my personal slot makes a lot of sense. So, and I agree, like it, so it will be more than one video. Like I'll do whatever video, like between two and four probably, that it takes to do a grid and then we'll move on to my next game. I think that makes the most sense because that means people who still are interested in more Wario still get them in logical blocks and people who don't want Wario anymore well, instead of having a whole month of not having anything you don't want to see, it's gonna be like half a week, which, you know what? I guess that's fair. Dong Dong! I did not know what to expect with that name, nor with- Now I understand the thumbnail of this game. With that- Just the name, though. I, I did not know what was going on in that thumbnail. Chicken Race! Chicken Race! Two-player wackiness. This chicken ain't- Funky. That's a reference to a dance everyone knows. It's a classic game of checking. Get yourself as close to the edge as possible. L. Cockfoot. That's the name of the character. And Cockfoot for the lower. That's, look, that's the word they use. I just read out loud what was written in an actual gross video game by Nintendo. Now I see why they say that that way. So it's involved in character from the game. Here we go. I mean, I repress and release the exact same way on both. And yet, there's a clear winner. Alright, so you're allowed to push a lot harder. Like, I didn't want to push too hard. But I mean, that's the thing. Like, when you play this the first time, you don't know what, what strength means. Whoops, and there I, 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 that didn't mean to be a try, it just kind of happened, I just accidentally pressed the shoulders and the game was like, alright, well, here we go, ready, so yeah, you can do as soon as it says ready, so there I went until the foot was red, if you got red feet, that's no good, everyone's dead, next round, that guy's got glasses, alright, so no, yeah, that's what the map looks like, that tells me very little. Because I, I don't know what things are. So I went until about the ankle of the foot matched like the button. Look at that! Well, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of releasing, like I'm pressing and releasing at, at the same time. I can do what is unlikely to happen to two humans playing as intended. This is the reality of it. I am not two humans. Yeah, but this time there was a clear winner. I mean, that's what I'm counting on. I'm counting on just like the micro differences between what, you know, my right index and my left index are gonna do. When my brain sends the signal to do the same thing, it's very rarely going to be exactly the same. You know, that's just the limits of human self-control. Like, I don't know if I was like, an ascetic monk that studied martial arts for my entire life. Maybe they'd be able to be perfectly the same, but this one was extremely different. Hey, and I involved one chicken, which I feel feels appropriate. He's a champion. The other guy doesn't even have his own games. He's an NPC from a game. That's just weird. Territory! It's a game you can play to player insanity. Spin the groovy vacuum and pick up the trash. Chiritori. Released in Japan by Nintendo in 1979. I wasn't existing yet. Use remote control for gameplay. Alright, so advance. Red. Advance. Blue. Cool. Chiritori, it seems so scary. Hey, it's that game. From that game. Then vault zone. Whoa, where's the trash? All right, so it is literally that game, but you know, it's, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. That much is clear. Just gonna get all the trash, and will persevere. My strand is to press both thing at once, and then things just kind of happen. Or we can just bounce around all day long and decide a winner this way. We can. I mean, this is not how the game was designed, but 
if you're just kind of on your own without friends and a GBA, this is how you would manage to find ways to entertain yourself. Uh, and that's true. I had friends back when I had like Nintendo games and stuff. But I realized it's not the case for everyone, and then when you unlock, like, you know, specifically multiplayer games, it's kind of odd. But, like, the fact that you don't need, like, another game or, like, another console or anything, that you can just play this on the same console, that's pretty cool. I feel like a surprising amount of thought went into this, and honestly, I'm gonna expend, like, so, like, I feel like the WarioWare series kind of has a, a reputation for being, like, you know, for lack of a better word, shitpost, the video game. Except there's actually, like I'm saying, a surprising amount of thoughts on a lot of elements of this game. Like, just, whoa, did I just, like, absorb Jimmy? Because, you know, that feels like a dream come true. Alright, we just got, like, massive wands of paper, but I'm stuck in my loop! Red wins! And it's now huge and gonna consume the universe! I say, finally. And that was the multiplayer games. I mean, I can't, like, we can't really have a real demonstration of them, because I cannot play against myself. I cannot divide the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere from my brain and have them compete directly. Doesn't work that way, but this is a single player game, share it. I swear 50. Too much of a good thing? Never. Play this arcade masterpiece. This time, get your hands on Wario's version. Shoot without getting shot. Controls and shoot, and ooh, we got directions. We got direct. Yeah, so Sheriff is an actual legit video game that existed pre NES. That was an era that existed. I'm aware this was before the existence of most of y'all. I mean, this game predates my existence, so. I was born on the same year as the Famicom. So as far as I'm aware, Nintendo making video game is a universal constant. Alright, so here we go. Check it out, it's you. You go there and you shoot a man. Yeah, and you shoot a man. High score's 50,000? That seems a bit much, unless you get like multipliers or multiplayer multipliers or something. Cause uh like I'm only getting like a few points a man that I mercilessly destroy. Maybe you want to shoot that musical bird. Yeah! Musical bird! Come and tell us the weather! I don't know why. Alright, hey buddy, buddy. There you go. So I destroyed everyone. Poyo here is all like, check out hats, and it's like, all right, that was your reward. It was the sweet little cutscene. Wario has a bulging red nose, which the real sheriff didn't have. Sheriff, everyone mostly knows him as that one, one of one, not the one, but one of the assist trophies that don't really assist all that much in Smash Brothers, the Smasher. All right, I'm gonna shoot this guy, this bird. Ah, third bird death. Yeah, that's five hundo, man. Like, you know, I'm almost near what nowhere close to the high score. And I don't know if I want to get the high score. Like, all the other games, I went for the high score. 50,000? Like, that's huge. And, like, I'm not even at 2,000 yet. Like, is there something I could do to get more points here? Maybe. Almost definitely, in fact. Alright, there we go. Just, yeah, they're coming in. Shh. Shoot them, destroy them, obliterate their lives. What is happening actually here? Like, what's the story of Sheriff? Once upon a time, the Sheriff was hanging out inside his little cow pen, and a whole bunch of people have gathered up and surround him and start, you know, shooting guns at him? That's kind of messed up. Like, how did this happen? Oh, jeez. Uh, the sound effect that it plays is super gross. It's like weird, like, metallic sound. I kind of hate it. Alright, buddy, buddy. I'm just gonna destroy my own barriers here because you're just not worth yeah. Musical bird! I want you... Oh, there we go. Bonus X2. Because here's a lady. She's holding a flower? It's just her arm? I don't know. I can't read people. It's a massive heart made of hearts! And I got a life back. Alright, so finishing levels seems to be key to getting a score. 
to getting a score point, period. Alright, well, we can do that. Oh, no. Sheriff hunting season is coming to town. Someone alert. Master Duck. He's not a real guy. Won't stop me, though. Alright, if there's anyone in the corner, they're gonna come in the corner zone. It's like, whoa, corners. Never seen that before. What is a corner? Please explain that to me, science man. And then they don't, because they're like, what? Oh, man. Cabbage? And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the answer you get. Education back in the Old West was pretty good, is what I'm saying. That guy didn't want to go in the corner. He's too busy freaking out. Well, he's gonna die now, so... Musical bird! Why are you shooting the bird down? For real, though. Like, why do you get 500 point for the bird? There's no reason. It's you just do. And I mean, I will shoot it because it's 500 points. And if you're playing for points, 500 points seems kind of like a lot. But why, though? Well, I didn't get a sweet little cut scene. There's just so many criminals. This kind of dancing. Interpretive dance was considered a crime back in the day, like, to be absolutely fair. So, like, I get that. Like, this is just completely sauced in, uh, historical accuracy. And it, it is truly what made this game a classic that is part of the curriculum and universities everywhere. It's that. It's just, you know, look, you play this game, you live the Far West. Like, I, I am currently living the Far West life. Whoa! Like, the way he just ran at me like that, and I had to, like, kind of, like, awkwardly run off in a weird way. Yeah, that's just Far West, man. You know, you, you watch a Spaghetti Western, and you get, like, old Hollywood's version of, of countryside time theater. But if you want the real stuff, you need Sheriff. Like, that's where it's happening. Anyways, we're now at level something. It's, it's not really a number now. It's like, it's like an astro sign for a month that doesn't exist. It's my favorite. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I want to get in position to better shoot it. I know I can press L and R to, like, change where I'm aiming, but I don't like how it feels. Just straight up. I don't, I don't like how it feels, which is why I'm... I'm probably playing in a way that is harder on myself than intended by only aiming through moving like I'm playing like bad Contra. But I, I, I can live with that. I'm okay with that. We did it! We're getting married inside the- Oh, that heart is massive. And okay, so it multiplies my whole score. I see how this- And we looped! We're back in world one. It says one on the sign, and the guy's like super slow, so I don't... Alright, well, I mean, I loop. I don't care about hitting a high score. I just want to see everything, and I guess I saw the big heart. There you go, you saw the big heart. You saw what the Old West is all about. But also, I do not want to give myself a fake game over. I am playing until logical conclusion, so if that means we get more miles of this, then I guess that's our purgatory. I was looking aside in my peripheral vision, it looked like the lady said mild. I don't know why you would say that mild. Actually, with a D. The D is silent, like in tomato. So, uh, welcome to the Old West! It's full of spires. Probably. I've never seen it, but I've never been there. I've been there in digitally while playing Sheriff, but you know, that uh, that will not necessarily add all of the historical spires. Uh, welcome to the world of three! We call like that because someone put three on a board. Then I got shot in the back of the head. It happens. <laughs> it's an old West story. Here we go. You get shot in the back of the head, but you got plenty of hats. This is why they all wore giant hats, because that's where the life force were stored. Like, it was an era where at any point you could be playing cards and then everyone got shot to death. Storing your organs inside your body was seen as a extremely unsafe and unwise decision overall. And so they transferred most of their bodily substances inside removable fashion. It just seemed more convenient. And you know, so you know, if you die, like they just they just take your hat and they're like, yeah, that's it. It's done. End of the story. Yeah, I realized as I offered my description that 
it was not really a solution to anything. But, you know, it was an experimental time of humanity. They were trying things out. And when you try things out, you know, sometimes that means that what you're trying doesn't work out. Uh, you know, that's, that's what makes it beautiful. Alright, I'm glad we agree. I'm glad I'm, I'm assuming that we agree and that no one's gonna fight me on this. That's how I live my life. Oh, I Yay, musical bird! Sing songs to me like La Macarena and Stand By Me. Really related music here. Alright, help. Alright, I'm gonna help you later. Alright, lady. Calm down. So we don't get bonuses anymore? We don't get like massive giant hearts that take up the whole screen anymore? Like, I'm, I want more multiplier bonuses. Where are they? Give me my multipliers already. Please, uh, my family is starving. All right, well, look, if you rely on multipliers for food, I think that's where you hecked up. I'm gonna be real. That's probably just d the truth of it. Maybe in further loops, that's a thing. It takes longer to go into the multiplier zone. And that is the burnt that I am flying through right now. Yeah, that's right. Burn cookies. Now that's a true spirit of the old west. Old north, no cookies allowed. I'm gonna shoot this bird. I did not shoot that bird. My assertion was said with so much confidence, but that doesn't mean anything. Help! 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 You see that sweet reference I made to Donkey Kong 94? That's pretty good. I did that on my own. I thought about it and everything. Alright, uh, 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 yeah, I don't want to die, because I think I'm close to... I want the next big multiplier, I don't know why, but it is what feeds me right now. Musical bird! Why do you taunt me so? And here I walk to my lady, her noses and glow. Oh, but there's pink hearts! Still not a high score. That is just... You yeah, have to fight for it. I mean, I'll keep going. Welcome to one. It's the place where it says one on a sign. Uh, I guess criminal outlaw types are shooting more often. That's pretty good. You know, if your goal is to shoot the guy in the middle, shooting your gun at the middle would be the way to go. I'm probably not gonna get the high score, and I'm at peace of the- I have made my- eee! I'm still not gonna do it on purpose, though, but still. Like, I'm guessing it's gonna- cart at some point is gonna be fully pink. I don't know what it would be after that, but I don't know if they would have prepared for more after that. You know, that's- that's the reality. Huh? Little bullet, that's actually more of a little corner thing. I don't know. Do you not know? Why do you not know? Not know what? I don't know what- I mean, the bullet shapes, like, they're not meant to be- Like, that's not the real shape. What? Oh! Okay, I tried to do something impossible here. I didn't get the high score. I'll survive. So, next time... Realistically, the pigs? Total boss and easy. There's an unlock over it. If this is if this is called easy, I'm gonna guess there's a medium that's gonna live above it or something. So next time might be pig time. Yeah. This mix. Oh whoa! I can't I can't read that. That's a spoiler. 